No, I didn't want to change up. Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Toka Race Driver. You find us here at Catalonia for the next round in the Southern European Challenge. So far it's been going beautifully, four race wins out of four. We had a great time out at Manny Core last time as well, but as you see here, the points are flying in. We don't need them to get to a specific point or to progress in any way in terms of the tier system, but we're doing this championship because we are trying to take a car from Isabel Rodriguez, who has a TVR Tuscan now we've seen it in the Elite B Championship and it is rapid and I want to drive that car in that championship to see what it's all about. Today we're hopefully going to get said car and we're going to give it a go but first we've got to complete this championship. We've already won it but we've just got to get it out of the way. So let's go, Catalonia. We're starting 10th on the grid here which is one of our lowest grid positions for a while. I don't even remember there being a bridge for this circuit there. But we're off back underway for this next episode don't even think we've seen that livery on that car throughout this championship because we've been so far up the front i remember the ai were strangely quick around these first couple of corners and then rubbish everywhere else although i, I say that and well they're just being idiots we know we can win here so just take a bit more time to get through the field my god that thing sounds great behind us And the inside of the two not focus as we go. Subaru going slowly. There's Isabel. And suddenly we find ourselves third. What? Obviously my mental maths isn't brilliant. I couldn't count those pitches. Pitches? Oh god, my English isn't very good either. I couldn't count those positions while we were going through by the look of it. Slipstream. And then a dive on the brakes. There's a Ford Focus in the lead of the race. That's a surprise. Hey. He's not going to like that. Whoa, big slide. Okay, so that's one lap in the books, pretty much. And we are second. Okay, so that's one lap in the books, and we are fifth. <laughs> Whoops. Give slipstream. Why are you breaking? Watch this. Oh, no. I mean, that was completely unnecessary. So is that. What are you doing? Why are they all hitting me out of the way? That is mental. Okay, so at least this time it's three laps instead of two. I did have another place earlier, Bobby, but clearly you weren't watching. Whoa, there's some shenanigans going on there between Isabel and De Rossa. What was that, Lapierre? What was that? Was that him just trying to get onto the racing line or what? Because that was savage. That was unreal. I've not seen the AI aggressively go for me like that before. No. You're not coming through. Not after that. One more lap. Isabel's got the race lead. Get some slipstream off him. Tasty. Down the inside we go. I was really concentrating then. And then down the inside again. A little kiss on the way through. Mwah. Thank you. Race lead, everyone. We've got a bit of a gap over them as well now, and I know that I can be all right around this final sector as long as I get this bit right. Ooh, the revs dropped there. Stayed in third gear to carry the speed. Good news. Don't think I need third there, though. Oh, it's fine. We've extended the gap. And hip. that is a win at Catalonia. That is five from five, everybody. Five by five, as they say in the aviation industry. Another 10 points goes to us in the championship, which means we're now on 50 out of 50 points. 25 ahead of Isabel with one round left to go. And that is at Dijon, which is where we started the championship. Only seems like five minutes ago since it started, but it's been going very well since then, so time flies when you're having fun, as they say. Let's finish this one off. Starting eighth on the grid in this final race. Let's try and cap it out with a race win, shall we? Now, the scarier thing... What on earth? Oh, come on. 
I was going to say the scarier thing is the fact that now I know the circuit a lot better in this car because of already coming here so far this season. But all I seem to do is hit the back of everyone. Let's give Lapierre one of them as well for what he did at Catalonia. Ooh, broke a headlight, Mum. Lapierre really wants a piece of me, doesn't he? And back to more of this. Oh, poor thing. Oh, imagine it in that. Those two are close together in front. Let's see if we can get amongst it. Oh, we'll get it here. I mean, I didn't... Yeah, for some reason all I can do here is bounce off other cars. <laughs> oh, that was close to that barrier. We'll get Slipstream as well. Yeah, we're already getting Slipstream. Here it comes. Wow. Oh, what we should have done was put Isabel in the wall on the left. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was really toxic, but we've got a big championship lead. I just it was a what if. Whoop. That was close to the wall that time. Wow. I know the closest we got was hitting it on the first lap, but it got closer and closer since then. In a weird way. Round the final corner, off the rev limiter, that is maximum points from the Southern European Challenge. There we go. Way to drive, Nailed it. Nailed it. Really happy with that. Fantastic championship. Easy to drive car. And some awesome circuits. Let's Since see what she's got to say. With us, we've had 72% greater success on the track. We have increased our sponsorship by 47%. Our public recognition has been raised by 68%. And our profit margin has doubled. So I've raised well, huh? Mm, statistically, yes. Thanks. There it is. 10 points. 60 points. Nearly double what Isabel got on 31. And it's her that we're going to get a phone call off any moment now. We'll save that and see what she has to say. Hello, Ryan. This is Isabella Rodriguez in Spain. I was wondering whether you were man enough to challenge me in my country. Straight to the point. No mucking about. Let's go have a look, shall we? What do you want? Oh, it's purple. Of course it's purple. Fantastic. Manual, what circuit are we on? Oh, uh, we'll be in Spain, so we'll be uh, Catalonia. I'm actually scared of this car. I'm, there's a lot riding on this for me, you know, because if this car handles like a bag, then all of what we've just done in this episode so far and the last one might be in vain. Because if this car doesn't handle... Mm, I'm scared. Thank you for accepting my challenge. That's fine. I just hope you're a challenge. Oh, I'm a challenge. Believe in me. I'm a challenge. Do you think she's a challenge? Uh, the thing is, this car's got the straight line speed to make up for any handling difficulties. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh my god, look at the speed. The Subaru topped out at 135. How's it break? It doesn't break. Oh, I don't like that turning. It kicks the back end out. What about lift off over there? Oh, lifting off is quite good. I'm just testing it at the moment. I probably shouldn't have wasted that chance to be in front, but on the power, it tries to break away very easily. Does it slow down? No. No, it doesn't slow down. Oh, no. It doesn't slow down. It's rapid, though. Over 100 miles an hour in second gear. Oh, it's... Well, off the circuit and Larry. I mean, it's a TVR, but... If I do that, it sort of saves itself. I let go of the stick then. So I'm going to turn on the stick, on the stick, on the stick, let go. It sort of gradually saves itself. Even if you're still on the throttle, it doesn't make the slide worse. But you have to brake early, obviously, because you're doing so much more speed, I guess. But oh my god, it's fast. I thought it was only like 450 horsepower. I thought the Evo was about that much as well, so... I'm intrigued where it gets all of its speed from. Is it like at high speed corners? The thing is, it's not bad otherwise, you know. 
it's just a bit strange in terms of slowing down for corners. What did she just say? Well, we'll try it again because I want to win this car desperately, even more so now, knowing how fast it is. Is that just her defending? Is that what she does? All right, we'll have that. Now I know how it behaves. I could maybe drive it a bit better. No, I didn't want to change up. <laughs> a what? She's going to want to kill me now. She's going to be absolutely flying. I think this might be a case of being really gentle on the right stick when it comes to accelerating and braking here. There's going to be a lot of points where you have to be so careful. High speed, it doesn't really handle that brilliantly. You just have to brake a lot earlier and just be ready for it. The thing is, though, it's easier to be fast in a car that's got a lot of straight line speed and power because all you've got to do is just floor it down the straights and we'll probably outrun everything. However, this is Tucker Race Driver. One thing I'm scared of is that now we're in this, everyone else's cars will be as fast to match it. And I know it sounds stupid, but I think it will be. We've won ourselves a TVR, though, everyone. Not how I would have wanted to, but we've won a TVR. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, I guess. We have a TVR, a rapid one. There's still time to record in this episode. So... Let's go to Alton Park, shall we? Yeah? Let's go. Oh, I forgot it was raining. Well, it's going to be an interesting uh, inaugural race, safe to say. I'm feeling confident, though, in this car, because in a straight line, we might just be able to outrun everybody. I'm really, really hoping that the pace difference that we saw when we were in the slower car is now the same when we're in the faster car. I've got my fingers crossed so tight over this. I hope you have as well. I'm excited to use it now, though. I'm excited. Wheel spins like mad, but what do you expect? Around the Cobra. Right, we're going to get an idea now. Oh my god, it's fast. You see that little burst of speed? go. Oh, oh, it's fast. Excuse me, excuse me, everyone. Coming through. Bye. Right. It's us against you, Craven. Oh my god, we are reeling them in tenfold. Okay. This is our perfect opportunity to win Elite B, and it's not even that slow in the... Oh my god. This is insane. Slow down. Whoa, it doesn't want to turn. Yeah, you have to go very slowly for corners. Although, it feels slowly for corners, but it's not that slowly for corners. Oh, no, no, no. It, yeah, it doesn't want to turn on the brakes. Okay. However, we're leading after one lap in Elite B. This could be a real resurgence here. I feel Paul's going to be on my chuff, though, because look at the mini around that corner. Oh, that's amazing. It's like it's on rails. That's obviously the strong point of the mini is it's rapid round corners, whereas, well, this thing just goes off the track, but then does it at 400 miles an hour. He was catching me then, wasn't he, and then fell off. No, 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 Chaz, come on. That was not good. Short shift, and it's fine. It's ugly now. I'm blaming that on slippery conditions. Let's get Paul. Oh my god, look at the speed. But then look at him around there. <laughs> Little, hey, track limits, Paul. Come on. But then all of a sudden... Hi, mate. This is like the old school battles of like Mustang versus Mini in the British Saloon Car Championship, as it was then. Except he's in a red Mini Cooper S and we're in a bright purple TVR. Oh my god, this thing is fast. This is terrifyingly fast. I suppose when you're against one of the other ones, you don't really get an idea or a comparison. Look at that! You just drive off. And there's not really a caveat to it. Not that I can figure out. You just need to brake a lot earlier and be a lot more conscious of braking zones. Stop wheel spinning, please. And because it's not easy to save on the brakes either, 
Like, if you overshoot, you overshoot. It's not easy to sort of make up for it on the brakes. You are having an accident, so, yeah, you really have to be just conscious of how quick you are going. So look at that, 130 mile an hour, 40, 50, brake, 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 brake. I'm excited to see this at Las Vegas when we've got a car that's faster than everyone else at top end. Oh, God. But will the handling let it down at Las Vegas? That's going to be the question. Because that felt like the Supra did, where the car rotates, sure, but it doesn't actually change the direction it's travelling in. I'm going to stay in second gear. Look at that, 50 mile an hour, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, crash. It's just... Yeah. When you see the relative speed to the rest of the cars in the pack, it actually feels really manageable. Well, let's not forget, this is not our ticket to completing Elite B and A. This is our ticket to completing Elite B. There may be a car in the Elite A lineup that is similar, you know. It's just rapid in a straight line. We'll have to figure out which one of them that is. That's probably also the TVR, the Speed 12, which we can also try and win. However, we have just won a race in Elite B. That's ace. Absolutely ace. Okay. I'm on board now, are you? I'm well on board. Let's go. No, I hate that phrase. I hate it when people say that. Stop it. Ten points to us and a championship lead. Paul Craven was second. Rodriguez was third. What was next? Oh, Vallelunga. This was, I think, the first time where I really noticed the speed of the TVRs because at the start of the lap, they just drove away from everybody. But there are a lot of fast corners and... To be fair, there's some really slow hairpins here as well, so... Could suit the car, might not. But Alton Park had a lot of slow corners as well, and it felt very manageable, so we'll see. Isabel is starting behind us in this one. I don't think there's a good way of starting the car. This was the moment. Look at that. Oh, my bumper. On my bonnet. Get off. Get off. All right, we need to slow down. Oh, no. Oh, that was serious. That was very serious. The way we bounced off that mini was weird. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That was horrendous. The poor car is absolutely totaled. Well, this is much worse than it could have gone in any other car. <laughs> and it's not like even the car's fault. I've just got to hope now that because we've got no cars sort of blocking our path, that round the beginning of the lap here where we can go quickly, we can go mighty quickly. Scared of it stepping out, though. Okay. However, some of the good news is that Paul Craven was the car that was involved with us, so he's not going to be scoring championship points if he has to stay in all this mess. Okay, this is a bunch of freebies. Thanks, everyone. Suddenly we're in the points. Suddenly we're in fifth. We're not going to moan about that. We're just going to go. With what's left of our TVR, why are you seemingly coming to a stop? Okay, fourth place. Who does that mean is in front of us? Isabel. The minis were both in there. Is it Cobras? Two Cobras still up front, that's just stupid. Unless they have some similar shenanigans at this hairpin this time around, I don't think we're going to catch them, but that's fine. I just need to actually make sure I make the corner as well. This would also mean that Isabel actually takes the championship lead, I think, because didn't she finish third at Alton? If she wins this race, she's got the championship lead. I think Helena Anderson is one of the ones in the Cobras. Fourth place is not a bad recovery, I think. And no, Isabel did not win the race, so we might have the championship lead still. But that was scary. Tischler won it from Anderson, so it's a 1-2 for the Cobras. What does that mean championship-wise? Oh, we're tied with Tischler. Okay. That's not a bad place to be, though. We're still leading the championship. That car is amazing. It really is. It was just my terrible driving that let it down there. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for in this episode. So we're going to continue the Elite Class B Championship next time round in the TVR. I'm mega excited to see how it goes, though, because, like I say, that car is a rocket ship and is so much easier to get a result out of than the Evo we were driving before. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Really hope you're enjoying this, and I'll see you in the next episode.